Everyone who works on a building site should be confident they'll be paid for the work they do. Unfortunately, this is not always the case. Subcontractors often rely on contractors above them for payment, which can result in delayed payments or no payment at all. That's why the Queensland Government has introduced changes to improve security of payment for subcontractors working in the building and construction industry. These changes include the establishment of project bank accounts. This video highlights the key points for subcontractors participating in project bank accounts. From the 1st of March 2018, a project bank account will be used on certain state government building and construction projects between $1 million and $10 million. Not all projects will require a project bank account. Only those that meet the four criteria will need to have a project bank account. A project bank account consists of three separate bank accounts. A general account, which receives and distributes funds. A retention account, which holds subcontractors' retention money until it is ready to be paid out. And a disputed funds account, which holds certain disputed amounts whilst a dispute resolution process is underway. A new project bank account is set up for each building contract. The project bank account allows payments to be distributed from the principal to the head contractor and its subcontractors. The project bank account also holds any retention monies withheld by the head contractor. Project bank accounts aim to get subcontractors paid faster, more reliably, and to provide a better way to manage retention funds. Project bank accounts apply to all subcontractors directly engaged by the head contractor. That is, they apply to the first tier subcontractors. Suppliers and second tier contractors will not be paid from the project bank account. The head contractor will give all subcontractors written notice before entering a subcontract advising when a project bank account is required for the project. Subcontractors in any doubt should talk to the head contractor. All progress payments from the principal are paid into the project bank account, not into the head contractor's own bank accounts. From here, payments are distributed to subcontractors in response to payment claims and in accordance with the payment terms in the subcontracts. A head contractor is also required to ensure all retention amounts held for a subcontractor are transferred into the retention trust account and held there securely until they are due to be paid out. When making payments from the project bank account, the head contractor is required to upload the bank payment file called a payment instruction. The payment instruction lists all amounts to be paid to subcontractors, to be transferred to the retention trust account and to be paid to the head contractor from the project bank account. A head contractor must provide written notice to subcontractors about all payments made to them and when money is transferred into the retention account for the subcontractor. This notice is called the payment instruction information. The payment instruction information will detail what amounts have been paid to a subcontractor, which bank account it has been paid into, and when the payment has or will be made. Subcontractors should review the payment instruction information, checking the amount is as expected and that the payment has also been made into the correct bank account. If the information in the payment instruction information does not appear correct, subcontractors should talk to the head contractor. The principal for the project also receives reports about all payments made from the project bank account. They too will check the payment instruction information for account discrepancies. The principal can also view all transactions and account payment reports in the project bank account to ensure the head contractor is meeting all their obligations. It is important to note that whilst project bank accounts increase protections for subcontractors directly engaged by head contractors, the existing contractual and legal arrangements between a head contractor and its subcontractors continue. Subcontractors with payment concerns can still seek adjudication or start legal action. It is important also that subcontractors submit payment claims or invoices to the head contractor on time to ensure they are paid for the work they have completed. Remember, under coming Building Industry Fairness Act reforms, all payment claims will be subject to the protections of the legislation without the need for endorsement. 
It is also important you are aware that subcontractors will also be required to respond to payment claims and invoices they receive either by paying the full amount by the due date or providing a payment schedule setting out what you intend to pay and why it is less. This concludes this video on project bank accounts for subcontractors. Further information is available on the department's website, including videos, guidance material and fact sheets.